What is going on everyone? Luca Rosano here back with another video and I do want to say a thank you to today's sponsor BetSafe for sponsoring today's video. Just to quickly tell you a little bit about BetSafe. BetSafe is the home of daredevils and serious bettors offering the full spectrum of sports betting's best features such as in-play betting, cash out, bet builder, and live sports streaming. They've got 365 days of promotions from free bets and deposit bonus reward to boosted odds, cashbacks, and more, and lightning quick payment methods so you never miss a beat. BetSafe's got you covered with an award-winning customer support service, get 20% cash back up to $5,000 on net losses on all NBA playoff games. I got my bet in for Sunday Zero Cup Final, and I also did put a bet on Game 2 of the NBA Finals yesterday, which I won. So go register with BetSafe today, guys. Have fun watching these games. Put some money on it. Bet responsibly, of course. Must be 19+. plus. Go check out BetSafe, proud sponsor of today's video. BetSafe is a website that I do use frequently, and uh, I've been having a blast using it during this entire NBA playoff run, during the Stanley Cup run, and now during this Euro Cup final run. So last year, there was a chance that DeMar DeRozan could be a free agent. Well, having picked up the player option in his contract, DeRozan will now be an unrestricted free agent at the season's end, giving him now the option of signing with any team in the league this offseason. And in a free agency class headlined by Clippers for Kawhi Leonard, DeRozan is widely considered to be one of the best players available in the offseason. So with that in mind, where could DeRozan end up if he decides to leave the Spurs? In today's video, we're going to look at the top five best destinations for DeMar DeRozan. Before we get into it, please do me a solid favor, guys. Drop a like on the video. It helps it a ton. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. Plus, turn on post notifications. I'll be coming out with a lot of cool content throughout the entire offseason. Comment with your thoughts down below. And lastly, consider becoming a channel member today by hitting that join button. We're going to go from five to one. Let's get right into the list with team number five, and it's the Miami Heat. The Heat are always looking to make a splash, and after Victor Oladipo didn't pan out accordingly, the Heat could be looking to go an entirely different direction. You know they could always use some more offense, so the question is, if they do get DeRozan, can DeRozan, Jimmy Butler, and Bam Adebayo be enough for them to contend in the Eastern Conference again? I think the Heat are going to be very aggressive this offseason because you look at the landscape of the East, I would argue it's still pretty wide open. I mean, obviously the Nets are going to be there. You know, the Bucks are going to be there still. The Sixers seem like a mess right now, but there's a couple teams in the East that are on the cusp of something great if they make the right move, and I think Miami is one of those teams. So look for the Heat to be ultra aggressive. I know they're a team that comes up a ton when talking about potential rumors like this. I did a video on them possibly pursuing a Kawhi Leonard a couple months back and you know th their name has come up a ton with some other free agents and DeRozan is another name that has been linked to Miami. So this is a, a strong possibility and a really good fit which would have DeRozan come on back to the East. The next team on this list at number four of best destinations for DeMar DeRozan the Los Angeles Lakers. DeRozan, born in Compton, California. He grew up watching Kobe Bryant and the Lakers. So wouldn't be surprised if he was interested in a homecoming. But it would likely require a sign and trade to make it work. So would the Lakers then have enough assets to pull that off if there was mutual interest? That remains to be seen. But DeRozan was actually linked to the Lakers last year as well. And uh, the Lakers could use a, a third score. They could use a third star as uh, you know, we saw they did run into a ton of problems, especially in the playoffs once AD went out. So look for the Lakers to get better this offseason. However they do that, that you know remains to be seen. But DeRozan is definitely a name that can uh, you know help the Lakers. And uh, like I said, he's been linked to the Lakers uh, dating back to last season. He's from there. So this could definitely be a strong possibility of DeRozan playing for the purple and gold. The third team on this list, the Toronto Raptors, DeRozan's old team. I mean, you look at the Raptors, guys. They could have a decent amount of cap space to work with, and they need a playmaker. We saw how much of a need that was last season. While they could easily address that with the fourth overall pick in the draft and use the bulk of their cap space to resign their free agents, DeRozan is an option here if the Raptors are looking to make a big move and if the Raptors are interested in a reunion. Now, I do not endorse this, as I've said many times, particularly in a video I did in the past, stating that the Raptors should not bring back DeRozan 
and that that ship has sailed. But this is still a move that I think is in the realm of possibility. The next team on this list, the Dallas Mavericks. As noted by the athletic Sam Amick and John Hollinger, the Mavericks could have around $35 million this offseason to play with. The problem, it does hinge on Josh Richardson opting out of his $11.6 million play option for the 2021-2022 season, which does seem unlikely based on how his season ended. But still, the Mavericks could have enough cap space to be in the running for DeRozan, and he fits the bill of what they're looking for. DeRozan would give Doncic a breath of fresh air, and it would give the Mavericks someone they could rely on offensively whenever Doncic goes on the bench. We saw how problematic that was for the Mavericks in their series against the Clippers. Every time Doncic took a breather, it's like the Clippers got right back into the game or made a run. Additionally, pairing DeRozan with a big like Przingis makes sense for him personally because of the spacing it would provide him on offense, allowing DeRozan to play to his strengths. And a core of Doncic, DeRozan, and Przingis would be a very appealing offensive punch so Dallas look for them to be aggressive to this offseason I think they will make a move to try to get better obviously they've had two disappointing seasons back to back this past one was more disappointing because they did have the 2-0 lead Dallas needs to make some moves they got to get better if they want to keep Doncic happy so expect Mark Cuban and company to uh, be aggressive this offseason and then the number one team on this list of best destinations for DeMar DeRozan, the New York Knicks. Yes, the Knicks, they are going to have a ton of money to spend this offseason. According to Real GM's Keith Smith, the Knicks could create as much as $72.8 million in cap space, the most in the league. That number is unlikely to actually be that high. Smith has their projected cap space at $53.1 million, which is still the most in the league. But they will be in a position to offer one of the top free agents a max level contract. And there's not a whole ton of big time free agents that are going to be available. We already know that. So a guy like DeRozan could get the benefit of a weak free agency class. Also, the Knicks are going to need some playmaking, especially if Derrick Rose walks in free agency, which could very well happen. The Knicks were one of the best defensive teams in the league this season, but it was the other side of the court in which they struggled in. In the regular season, they ranked 22nd in offensive efficiency as they scored at a rate of 110.2 points per 100 possessions, and they struggled even more in their first round series against the Atlanta Hawks, scoring at a rate of 102.1 points per 100 possessions to rank 15th in offensive efficiency among the 16 teams that made the playoffs. If DeRozan is looking to maximize his earnings while still playing a leading role on a competitive team, the Knicks are that team that could be very desirable for DeMar DeRozan. So that is why the Knicks are number one on this list because I think this does make the most sense and the Knicks are indeed the best destination for DeMar DeRozan. So to quickly recap of best destinations for DeMar DeRozan, This offseason, Miami Heat, the Los Angeles Lakers, the Toronto Raptors, the Dallas Mavericks, and the New York Knicks. Those are the five teams that we have covered in today's video. What do you think, guys? Let me know your thoughts down below. Drop a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. Plus, ring the bell. Like I said, I'll be coming out with a lot of content, so definitely keep it locked and loaded. Make sure you do turn on that post notification button. Lately, I've been having some issues with you know YouTube not pushing out my stuff or post notifications not going out to the people who have clicked it. So just make sure you do have that button clicked. It does help a ton. And yeah, enjoy the rest of your weekend. Enjoy what's going to be a very, very crazy sports weekend. And obviously, the Euro Cup Finals on Sunday. And as you guys know, I'm a supporter of Italy, so I'm going to definitely be watching that game. And hopefully, Italy wins, because if they do, I'll be doing another one of my Luca on the street segments. That's it for me, guys. As always, thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you all again in the next one. Until next time, be great and stay blessed. Peace out.